Let me jump over that something. Good. Really? Good. Can I ask you, sir, just to go towards the microphone so we can... Thank you. After two years, we're really grateful that the inquest process has made a strong statement about how Ian died. We're grateful to the jury, the coroner, and we think the jury finding speaks for itself in the verdict of unlawful killing. We hope the DPP will consider what the jury has said in their evidence and that what has come out. We're looking forward to the next stages in the search for justice for Ian. Thanks a lot. Thank Julia, you. what's your response? You must be delighted, are you? Um, you know, we've got a long way ahead of us still. Go, yeah. You know, we've been let down for two years and this is the first bit of hope we've had, so we just keep it amongst ourselves, you know, innit? Paul, well, what do you think this verdict says about the way in which this protest was released? It shows that it... I don't know, you know, just... Today, maybe not the whole piece. Yeah, you know, the protest, it was all new to us, and now it's just hope every time we hear protest, it automatically assumes us, makes us think of our dad, you know. But um, no, but we're grateful that we're going a step further than we did two years ago or a year ago. So, Paul, what was it like when you heard the verdict? What was that moment like? You know, it was nice. It was good, a bit of closure for the family, you know. A bit, it feels like something's being done by by some sort of authority, you know. And hopefully, we'll get the right answers when it goes back to criminal proceedings. This is obviously, you say this is the first step in, in, in the quest for justice. What else would you like to see done? What, what would make you feel that justice was done properly? Well, it's been proven today that he was called killed unlawfully. You know, we'd like to go to court and continue with the manslaughter charges. Thank you for all your support and um, we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you. It is a matter of deep regret that the actions of an MPS officer have been found to have caused the death of a member of the public. Policing major public order events is a challenging and difficult task. It has been demonstrated in this case that all officers are accountable for their actions and we would not want it to be any other way. If someone dies following police contact, it is only right that their death is thoroughly investigated. It is in the best interests of all affected that the facts of what happened are fully established and the NPS has fully supported and cooperated with the independent IPCC investigations. PC Harwood will now be subject to misconduct proceedings and the Crown Prosecution Service will reconsider the case. It would therefore be inappropriate to say anything further at this point.